everybody. Um, I've been uh, playing with uh, Redshirt Games for a couple of years now. Um, I'm with Michelle Smith from Canada, and uh, he's granted me uh, an impromptu interview. And so I want to share uh, the cool experiences I've had uh, playing with the people at Redshirt Games. And I want to give you guys an insight into this really cool group of people. So without further ado, this is Michelle Smith. How you um, doing? Tell me a little bit about your company. Uh, when did you guys get started? We uh, got started uh, approximately uh, 96 uh, with uh, playing some Sign of Death. And then we started demoing games for ICE and Rapham. Wow, and big names. when those companies started to go under uh, in the early 2000s, we started to uh, start up our own company. Uh, cool. We had a lot of plastic miniatures, so we wrote up our, uh, a game called uh, General Glens, mm -hmm. uh, Combat for Toy Soldiers, so uh, we designed our own combat system using D12s. Right, and, right. And uh, everything we use now is D12s, uh, D12s to hit, D12s for damage. Uh, we've designed a game system after that called Injurious Games, which is uh, more of a sci-fi kind of game. Uh, we incorporated six types of races, uh, humans, orcs, rats, mechs, and uh, after that we've designed a game uh, medieval uh, called D12 Fantasy, we're calling it D12 cool. Fantasy Dragon's Horde. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, again using D12 Fantasy, but going towards the... Uh, the uh, the fantasy uh, theme. This year uh, we've come up with, uh, or last year we came up with two versions of uh, our, our General Blends, uh, Showdown and Modern Warfare. So Showdown is uh, Wild Wild West. Modern Warfare is more modern uh, from uh, Korean War up to today. Uh, we are rejigging some of our old games like our uh, Silent Death uh, Smash. Uh, integrating some of the rules that we've designed for initiative uh, card based. Is that the one that utilizes the really large yeah, models? Yeah, utilizes the three to one chips. It's a, awesome. it's a big fan favorite. Uh, we designed a new game this year. It's called the Pirate Smash or the Pirate Isle. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it utilizes, uh, again, D12 rules. Uh, but this time you're piloting a ship of pirates and you're going around killing each other. It's so always that's a fun. Lot of fun, yep. A little bit more complicated, a little bit of uh, design, you gotta plot your movement. Uh, so we're quite happy, and then one of the games I just finished running, it's uh, Monster Mash. Uh, always a good time, guys. Great game. Gotta you play can it. You play like 24 players, it takes two hours to do. Uh, kids as young as six years old were playing it. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Now, I had heard about the map that you use for Monster Mash. Are you going to be selling that in the future? Uh, we are trying to work around the rules that have been established by the, um, WOTC, Wizards okay. of the Post. Ah, uh, okay. And okay. Uh, the, the map is, is freely available at this time, so if somebody wants it, I think that we could send them the... the, the the JPEG or whatever it is, it's a map. I don't know how to do that. That's beyond me. I, I think one of the coolest things, uh, not only about the map, but the way that you guys do it is whenever anybody gets uh, turned from flesh to stone, that's where that character stays for the remainder of the weekend. The remainder of the convention, that character will be in stone for the whole time as a statue. And usually They're active on a Sunday, terrain at that point. On a Sunday, we'll take a picture of the map, we'll post it on our website to show all the people that have been turned to stone. <laughs> We're not talking just small guys, too. We've seen huge creatures turned to stone. So, cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Very cool. Now, um, you, you, you keep referring to we uh, when you've invented these games, is this mostly you, or do you do separate people go off and do their own thing? How does that work? We are, uh, you know, in the years, uh, it's ranged from four people to two people, mm -hmm. and in between. Uh, right now, uh, we're back to our core three guys, myself. Uh, I really am the event organizer mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for Origins and Gen Con. Two big plays. Uh, yeah, yep. it uh, requires quite a bit of the organization to get all the games set up, the time slots, mm -hmm. GMs, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Uh, my partner, Richard, who's running Got the game the right end. now. Nice gentleman on the end there. Uh -huh. He is our uh, arts guy. 
Oh, really? Yeah, he uh, designed most of the books, the, the, cool. the graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Even though we've all partaken in writing the books, he actually puts the books together. Wow. Gets them printed. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he is a god. Are you doing that. like uh, desktop publishing or do you guys actually send that off to a publisher? We actually, uh, I guess it would be desktop publishing. Really? That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. very cool. Uh, I know that our, some, I believe our books, or some of our books are available on a website as a PDF. Again, he's our web guy. Mm -hmm. He does all, our, uh, all that stuff. Uh, our third guy who's not here at this convention, he was at Origins, uh, Glenn Simpson. Okay. He's, uh, he's our accountant. Was he the gentleman in the kilt? Or was it, I think that yeah, was he, you actually. I'm the guy in the he kilt. is the guy in the kilt. Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. I am the kilt guy. Cool, very uh, cool. Glenn is, uh, he's our accountant. He's uh, really, he was, the, he was the, the glue that binds us. Yes, yes. He uh, is very well organized and he is what we need uh, to get things really organized at the uh, the micromanage level. Right, which is huge, guys. I mean, you can't, I mean, look at this entire area. I mean, seriously, guys, this entire area here, uh, which has got to be a good 30, 40 feet by a good 20 feet, this is all red shirt, guys. They really are running a, a, a massive operation here. I notice you, uh, you do a lot of, uh, or you have a lot of Hearst buildings. Do you have a particular guy that does... Uh, Rich the, and Glenn. Excellent, excellent. Our arts guys. I have no artistic ability whatsoever. My strengths are in mathematics. Hey, and okay. And business systems. And so mm -hmm. when we design games, basically it's okay, give it to Michelle to see if he can find the loophole in it. And sure, fix sure. It. Absolutely. So you know. that's that's where my strengths are on that one. And running events, I uh, mm -hmm. really love running for large, large groups. So I usually run the Monster Mash. Mm -hmm. Run it up to 24 players at a time. It is so much fun. Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. And you know, we can have at any time running six events and we can have almost 70, 80 players at that time. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Now, is there anything going on in the works that, that you might want to share with the public? We are working on two things. One, we want to complete our pirate game mm -hmm. and actually publish. So the book will be published uh, by next con. Excellent. Uh, we always aim for a May, you know, hope that they get out by June so they make it for Origin. So that'll be done. Um, our, our real main event and how we really got started, Silent Death, uh, again, dying a slow death, or never really got off the ground. We were doing our own space game. Mm -hmm. That'll be out next year also. Again, really? Based on D12, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we are in the works of getting uh, a lot of stuff out for that. Ships, the books, everything out. And uh, we're still going to be looking at the Monster Mash. It's it's a hard uh, one to try to get done, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, as a convention game, it's a great game to, to run. People oh, it's it. it's it's almost a party game, I would say. Game. Big and time. Fast. Now, I, I heard stories about you guys actually hooking up on like a Friday or Saturday night and doing your own private games. We get to, we've been getting together uh, since 89. 89 guys? Yeah. So since 89, uh, it started on Sunday nights, but Sunday nights for Monday morning is a real hard one. Oh, so big time. We do Friday nights. We've been doing Friday nights almost forever. Uh, Very cool. Games, you know, D and D mostly, but uh, mm -hmm. when we got a game coming, we get guys in and we do demos. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, share? Like, uh, for instance, your website. Tell us. Tell yeah, us your website. Our website is uh, very simple. It's www.redshirtgames.com. And I'll, I'll, All right. I'll show you that. Yeah. Grab a card. Absolutely. Oh, hey, 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 can't do any better than that. Ultra cool. Thank you, thank you. And we're all there. Uh, if you're just interested in looking at some great pictures of terrain, of miniatures, of people, 
Go on our website, look under our photos, and you'll see photos going back to some of the earlier conventions. That's that awesome. So, were you like doing Gen Con back in, say, Milwaukee? Yep. How cool is yeah, that? So we were in Milwaukee. Um, Do you go back as far as uh, Parkside? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's Milwaukee, really far back. Yeah, Milwaukee would be going back, I guess, uh, we started going there in 97, 98. Yeah, long time. You know, Origins, we started, we did Origins before, so mm -hmm. Origins 96, 97, and then... Now, whereabouts, you guys are up in Canada, whereabouts in Canada are, are you? We uh, are actually in the Ottawa area. My uh, buddy Richard and I both live on the Quebec side. Cool. And Glenn lives on the Ontario side, and uh, yeah. Cool. Say something in French. I gotta ask you that, because they're gonna ask me to ask you that. Venez nous joindre. Okay. Come and join us. Come and join us. All right, you heard that. Okay, I want to thank you so much, Michelle. You are so cool. I've, like I said, I, I've played with these guys for years. Um, last, like about this year, I'm starting to get a little more acquainted with people and with the uh, YouTube community. I want to share these people with you guys. They're incredibly cool, incredibly nice. Go check them out, Red Shirt Games. All right, take care. Bye-bye.